Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Bootramp and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be uh, talking about some Pokemon Go stuff. Uh, I do have some tips to you guys because I've been playing this game so much recently and I'm having so much fun. I've been reading a lot and studying about Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's so true. I mean like, it's fun. So we we, we actually traveled like uh, the whole city today. We yeah, walked like that's... for many, many hours. And we met so many people playing Pokemon Go, like, hey, are you playing Pokemon Go? Like, yeah, we're playing Pokemon Go! So, I mean, like, it's absolutely amazing that you actually can, uh, uh, you can socialize with other people, interact with other people, uh, random people out there, and basically have some fun. Yes, that's it. And you can talk about, like, Pokemon stuff. So we got some information about, like, uh, a super, super informated uh, uh, Pokemon dude, so, with the gym. I've been actually trying to hit up uh, gym information and what it does. So people just say like, yeah, you can battle against other trainers and you can hold a spot and uh, it's basically glory. But, but, but yeah, you can defend it, sure, you can. But you also will be getting rewards by holding each gym. Yeah. And you get like gold and dust. Like how much gold do you think? I think that was gold, uh, 10 gold per day for one gym. If you hold one gym, you get like 10 gold per day. Imagine if you have like 200 gyms, you'll be getting oh like 2,000. Yeah, you, you'll be super rich. <laughs> but it's really hard to hold the uh, the gyms. It's really yeah. hard to hold because you need uh, super high Pokemon. I've, I've seen people with 1,700, uh, 1700 uh, uh, what do you call it? 1,700 CP, CP, CP on the Pokemon. Oh, like uh, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, did it actually just uh, ding here? Did I just see a Pokemon? Um, no, nope. there's no Pokemon yet. So the gym you can get rewarded with gold and dust. And basically, what you can do with dust is uh, upgrading your Pokemon to uh, to uh, to better CP. And as you see here, I got a uh, Pidgeot here, 802 CP. If I want to upgrade my Pidgeot or power up my Pidgeot, I can get like higher CP by using Power Dust. And this costs like 1600 dust and two. PG candy that's a lot. and that's a lot so I'm trying to save like my my dust for now because uh, I think I think it's not worth like using everything in one Pokemon no, no. I think I Maybe need to, like, spread it to like, yeah different Pokemons. I need to spread it to different Pokemon imagine if I get like a uh, super rare Pokemon I don't have a single dust I wouldn't be able to upgrade it so all right so we talked about the gym so basically you can defend your gym you can attack gyms and there's three different teams you have the uh, um, uh, mythical. Yeah, mis mystic. Person. Yeah, team mystic. mystic. You have team valor, and I really can't remember the third one. I think that's a red one. I think valor is yellow. I'm not sure, but make sure you leave a comment down below on the names of the team. Uh, you have different teams, and you can attack this uh, post right here, the gyms, and it's guarded by uh, guarded by different trainers. Or and different players in the different area. players around the area. Yeah, and the higher gym level you can actually put more trainers into the gym so this gym is level two that means you can have either two or th three trainers one yeah. two is it also like a higher gym level you have like can you earn more gold or... i'm not sure about that but i know that if you hold the gym you get gold but i'm quite not sure if you get increasing gold by having higher gyms i think you're ha having think like so. maybe i'm not sure i think in my head like if you have higher gyms, you have better protections because yeah, you, you can true. have more trainers on it. That's true. So I think that's it. You basically have a higher chance defending your point. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. But you're getting gold reward and dust reward. And the higher level gym you have, the more trainers you can have in that gym. Uh, this gym right here got like, oh, it got attacked. Wow. It got attacked. It's level one right now. I think it got attacked. Yeah, it's level one. Mm -hmm. Someone is there right now fighting this arena uh, or gym there was two trainers in there and now it's only one so this gym is gonna be totally uh, beaten Rats. up very very soon yeah we're gonna check that out very soon and there's like some points here this is called Pokestops and the Pokestops you can get like potions you can get like Pokeballs, Great Balls Eggs, you can basically get everything there yeah. from the Pokestops. Yeah. You just spin it, go to different kind of Pokestops, you spin it, you get items. It's really awesome. Okay, so then, oh, we have a Pokemon here that we oh, can yeah, catch. I can actually talk about the toss. So many people are just uh, tossing their ball like this straight ahead. But if you spin the ball, it will actually increase your, your catching chance, and you have to throw it like sideways like this. 
Like that. Hey, nice. I did it hey. the first time. <laughs> you have to master it, guys, because you will be saving Pokeballs. Pokeballs is really hard to obtain because in the end, because it's going to cost you a lot. You're going to be using probably five, six balls just to get one Pokemon. And maybe it's, even more. And maybe more. And sometimes the Pokemon just uh, run away and you lost all of your Pokeballs. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful using it. Try to practice the circle effect. You guys saw the glowing effect on the ball right there when I circulated the... Uh, uh, the ball and toss it out. You have higher chance. Uh, so, so I mean, like it's very important that you, you you try to master that. And you see, there's also like a circle on the Pokemon. Like it's go going up, expands, and goes in again. And when it's furthest in, when it's the most tiny, the ring, the chances for uh, catching a Pokemon is higher as well. All these factors, uh, factors uh, is uh, catching the. Super, most rare Pokemon, so you have to use your rare berries or raspberries. Oh, berries, berries. What's, what's the name of it again? I'll find for guys. Raspberries. Raspberries. So basically, feed this up to a Pokemon and it will be easier to catch on the next throw. So if you do like circulate and you watch out the circle, uh, circle that expands and uh, expands and, and uh, decreases, decreases oh, yeah. and you use like raspberry and you use a great ball, I think you have a super good chance uh, uh catching a really rare Pokemon out mm -hmm. there. And there's a bunch of items here, and I definitely recommend you guys using the items. Like the Lucky Egg is giving you like uh, double XP. You have the Incense that actually lures the Pokemon, giving you a higher chance to find Pokemons. You have the Great Ball, uh, giving high performance on getting the Pokemons. The normal Pokeball is just uh, normal. <laughs> and you have the Lure Module here that you can place on the Pokestops. When you place in the Pokestops, you basically share the effect that uh, the Pokemons are more attracted to that point. It will come Pokemons to that Pokestops or Pokestop. And people can share the effect. Like, we had a bunch of people out here because uh, there's a Pokestop yeah, just like outside 20, here. Yeah, people. I think like 20 people just standing around like, yeah, we're going to be using this point because everyone can share it. And the last one here is the eggs. We're going to be talking about the eggs. All right, so eggs can be used to hatch Pokemons. Basically, to see what kind of uh, eggs you have is tapping on Pokemon and type eggs in the right corner up there. And as you see here, it got like it got like different kind of distance, like five kilometers, two kilometers, and ten kilometers eggs. Uh, the best one here is the 10 kilometer eggs. This is where you can get like super awesome Pokemon. You can get like really high tip Pokemon. You can get rare Pokemon, and you have to walk here to uh, hatch the egg. Yeah. You really have to walk, you gotta do some effort to hatch the egg. And that's really cool that Pokemon is actually, uh, they want people to actually activate herself, like go out and walk and have a better health and while gaming. <laughs> yeah, and get fed, definitely. So let's tap out there. So eggs, we have the Pokestops. And the last thing we're gonna be talking about here is basically uh, the uh, Pokemons nearby. This is a scanner that scans uh, Pokemons around your radar. What is the closest and stuff like that. And you see like there is uh, three footsteps on your Pokemons here. Some have one, some have two, some have three. And you were talking about like, if you have three foot steps, uh, yeah, it's 300 it's feet, 300 feet 100 away. Meters. Yeah, that's 100 meters. And one feet, that's 100 feet, that's 33 meters. So it's really good to know that. And uh, always watch your nearby Pokemon GPS because it's definitely worth it. So that's going to be basic for today. I really hope these tips are going to be helping out uh, catching those Pokemons out there and having a bit better knowledge be before it comes out globally uh, in the world. Because I think it's going to be several days left before Pokemon's coming out. Yeah. I yeah. think it's already out in the US. Um, it's out in the US. Australia. Australia as well. And there's other countries. I think it's three countries. I'm not sure, but it's Australia and Amer Maybe in the US. UK. Not UK, oh. no, it's not in UK, but three countries, I, I, I'm i sure about this, th three countries. Make sure you leave a comment down below uh, on the information I've given you guys today. Is it is this informative? Mm -hmm. uh, do you already know this information and stuff like that? So, I mean, like, I really hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video. Uh, it was all about, like, uh, reaching out to you guys, inform you guys before it lands out there. Do not waste your Pokeballs. Yeah. Don't just don't just lot. toss them out like drag them out like crazy. Make sure you aim and try to practice the circle motion so you have like higher cast cha catch chance on Pokemons. Mm -hmm. So yeah, see you in the next one, guys, and Good see luck, you later. Guys. Goodbye. <laughs>